Hi, I'm Jay Tombstone. Welcome to Jay Hates On, the show where I hate on movies, music, and the arts. Today, I'm going to hate on The NeverEnding Story. Yes, The NeverEnding Story, the 1984 classic in which a lonely boy who loses himself in books loses himself in a book. I know what you're thinking, but I love that movie. Shut up! No, you don't. You loved it when you were like 10 before you were old enough to understand that it's depressing as shit. See for yourself. A delicious looking limestone rock. Mm, mm. Pardon me. Mm, that was limestone with a dash of quartz. <laughs> Very tasty. I'm sure you're thinking, it's not that bad. Really? We got unwashed Willy Wonka, a drug addict in a nest, meth or heroin, we don't know, probably both. And open your eyes, people, that's a dick. He eats dicks. Well, I guess that's kind of nice. But let's take a look at the opening scene starring little Bastion and his dad. Bastion is sad, why? Because his mom just died. But don't worry, his dad's extremely attentive to his son's emotional needs. I understand, son. But we have to get on with things, right? Bastion, we each have responsibilities. Can't let mom's death be an excuse for not getting the old job done, right? Yeah. Jesus! And let's take a look at dad's delicious breakfast recipe. One cup orange juice, one raw egg, blend for seven seconds and enjoy your nutritious breakfast of sugar water and salmonella. No wonder the kid locks himself in a dusty old Victorian attic, which is randomly attached to his completely modern school building where he reads the tale of Atreyu, who loves his horse, Artex. They set out on a magical adventure to save the land of Fantasia from certain doom. Did I mention he loves his horse, Artex? Artex, you're sinking! Come on, turn around! You have to now! Come on, Artex! Yes, the horse dies. Not only does it die, but it dies in the first 30 minutes of the movie. Not only does it die, but I read online that in real life, the horse really, really died. But that's not the end, cause this shit never ends. Enter the Luck Dragon, everybody's favorite character. He's got the head of a dog, the body of a dragon, and... Leaving so soon. Was trying to s- sneak away. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, no, no. I like children. You were unconscious, and you talked in your sleep. He's a child molester. Frowny face. Blah blah blah. More depressing stuff happens. Anybody remember how this movie ends? Shut up. No, you don't. You blocked it because this movie was freaking traumatic. Bastion saves Fantasia by giving the childlike empress his dead mother's name, and then he dies of dehydration locked in a poorly ventilated attic. The never end. But there is one bright spot in this movie. The song that Lenaine LeBlanc is forcing me to sing with her right now. Tombstone, and I hate the never-ending story. <laughs>